protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. If you're looking for a mid-range caravan and you fancy something just a little bit out of the ordinary, have a look at this. More and more caravan dealers these days have their own range of caravans based on models from one of the big manufacturers. Michael Jordan caravans down in Guildford are no exception. They have an expression range which boasts six models ranging from single axle twin berth to twin axle six berth. This particular model is the 554. It's a mid-range model, single axle, four berth and it comes in £16,595. So what makes it different from the Swift Challenger Sport on which it's based? Let's have a look. Well, let's look at the outside first. For a start, there's an additional locker. Then there's an external gas point for running a barbecue. There's an external 230 volt power socket so you can watch television in your awning, perhaps. There's an Alco secure wheel lock which normally costs £250. And underneath the van, there are heavy duty corner steadies for extra stability when you're on site. Now let's have a look inside. Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got into the expression was the sunroof. It really does make a huge difference. Everything is, is so bright and light and airy. And it enables you to see the uh, upholstery, which is different from the standard Swift Model 2, including, it's only a small thing, but quite important, I think, the sculptured cushion here, which just makes everything more relaxed and comfortable and nicer. Storage unit here has a really nice, smooth action. It's quite big enough to sit here comfortably and for two to have a meal. The entire storage unit can be removed, if you want, very easily, and this then turns into a two berth bed. I don't really see many people using it like that, but I suppose if you had children along, then that'd be fine. But if you like watching TV in your caravan, you've got two options here. There's a 12 volt socket and a main socket, as well as an aerial socket right here. And over there by the door, there's also another 12 volt socket, another aerial socket, and a satellite connection, which is really convenient if you've got a satellite dish. The Expression 554 has a fixed double bed. It's a good size. I can lie down on it quite happily. I like a nice fixed double bed, but some people don't like the fact that when you have a fixed bed, space in the middle of the caravan is a little restricted. So in the kitchen area, we have a fairly good size area. We have a Thetford cooker with an electric hot plate and three gas burners. A grill for your toast, an oven, and a well-placed microwave. It's easy to get at and easy to use the controls. And the fridge is a 112 litre Thetford model with a built-in freezer. This caravan has grade three classification for insulation. And that means that if you do go out in winter, you're gonna keep nice and warm. And to help you keep nice and warm, you also have a dual fuel Truma heater. It runs on gas and 230 volts electricity. Another of the extras that you get with the expression is this three-speed Omnivent fan. Some people love them, some people hate them. If you do hate them, you can replace it with something like a mini Hecky. The toilet area is a really good size and there's a completely separate shower and a feature that I really do like, which is a little rail. So that means you can hang your towel up, and if you do get wet clothes, or you go swimming, or it's raining in a typical English summer, of course, you can just hang those things up in the shower and out of the way. There's good storage in this cupboard, and the toilet is a standard Thetford cassette model. The wardrobe is a very good size, and here also is uh, where they keep the dining table. It's not where you'd expect to find the table, perhaps, but it's certainly easy to get to and easy to put away again. As with all Swift caravans, the expression is based on Alco chassis. And at the front, everything's fairly standard, including ATC Alco's trailer control. 